Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I am going to be giving you my team for Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are now less than a week until the game comes out, and the games are online. I won't spoil anything in this video, even though there will be some picks in this video that are related to leaks that have happened. I will warn you guys ahead of time, and when I cover those Pokemon, I won't show or give the name of the evolution. If it's a form that isn't already officially revealed, I'll just talk about the form we already have. So with all of that out of the way, we're going to go through my top six, my main team that I'm going to be using in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, the first Pokemon on my list, of course, is the starter. Of the three Hisuian starter Pokemon, who am I going to be picking to take on my Legends Arceus journey? Of course, the choices are Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott, three Pokemon from different generations, different regions than the Sinnoh region, brought here by the Professor. They seem to evolve differently at the end of their cycles. Uh, that's not been officially revealed yet, but it's been highly speculated. I've even speculated about it here on the channel. So that does change my decision. So for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to give the final evolution. I'm just going to give the first, and that is going to be the fire type Pokemon Cyndaquil. I'm going to be going with Cyndaquil in whatever it evolves into. Hopefully it remains a fire type because one of the weaknesses of the Sinnoh region has always been that there is a lack of the fire type. So I'm going to be going with Cyndaquil. It's a Pokemon that I've never really used in journeys. I'm a big Oshawott guy. I've used Oshawott almost every single time that I've played through Generation 5, so I didn't want to go with him. And Rowlet was just, it was really recent. Uh, Generation 7 was, you know, not too long ago. I used Rowlet in my Ultra Sun playthrough, or my Ultra Moon playthrough, I believe. So it's been recent. So Cyndaquil and Typhlosion eventually, maybe, is going to be the pick for me there at the starter position. Next on my list, I'm going to surprise a couple people. We have the unique opportunity in Legends Arceus to catch the original Sinnoh starters in the wild. Turtwig, Piplup, and Chimchar can be caught in the Hisui region, and you can raise up an Empoleon, a Torterra, or an Infernape. I'm going to be going with one of these Sinnoh starters. We don't usually get to roll with two starters in Pokemon games, and the Gen 4 starters are some of my favorites. So I wanted to go with one for this playthrough, my first playthrough. Originally, when I was coming up with my team for Brilliant Diamond, I thought about using this Pokemon as my starter. And as I made the video for my Brilliant Diamond team, which I made a couple months back, I was going through the rest of the roster and I was like, it doesn't really fit if I want to do specifically what I want with the rest of the team. I wanted to have differentiation with the types. So I abandoned it. For this, we are going to be going with Turtwig and eventually Torterra on my team. A grass ground type Pokemon. It has a lot of really good offensive attacks. It is really bulky. It's a little weak to the ice type, but we can deal with that in stride. Torterra is a great Pokemon. It is a greatly designed Pokemon. The lore basis for it is incredibly good. The, the world turtle, as you will, some of the lore and the mythos behind it. Turtwig is adorable and hopefully it can be caught decently early. So my first two team members, starter Pokemon, Typhlosion and Torterra. Who will I use for number three? Now, before going any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe at any time. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload or another live stream. That being said, let's get right back into the list. For most of my teams, when I play through Pokemon games, I like to do a core of fire, water, grass. They don't have to be mono fire, water, grass types, but I do like to have those three types covered in Pokemon on my team. It just gives me a good core to work with. It, they're the more common types in Pokemon to begin with. So for my water type, I'm going to use another Pokemon that likes Cyndaquil and eventually Typhlosion. I don't really use a ton. In fact, this Pokemon I have never used in a playthrough. We saw it in one of the earlier trailers for Pokemon Legends Arceus, so luckily we do know it is in the Hisui region, and that is the Water Ice type Pokemon, Walrein. I love Walrein's design. It's been a Pokemon that's always been appealing to me. Having an ice type is also appealing to me because it's not a type that I use a ton. I really only use ice typings when I play through Sinnoh and probably Alola. 
are the two regions where I use ice types the most on teams. Wall Rain is a Pokemon I've never used. It's from one of my favorite generations. I adore Gen 3. It probably has the most Pokemon that are in my like personal favorites of any generation. And I'm looking to use a Pokemon that's bulky, that is a water type that has a unique typing that isn't just mono water. I threw around the idea of using a Floatzel on my team. It gets some ice type moves like Ice Fang, but it is only a mono water type. Floatzel is one of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon, so in the end it was really close between Wall Rain and Floatzel, but I wanted to go with Wall Rain because I wanted to add something different, something that I've never used. So Wall Rain, number three, is the pick on my team, completing that water, grass, fire, combo. Now of the known Pokemon in the Pokedex, there aren't a ton of electric types. You have the Sinnoh ones that we usually get, the Electivires, the Magnezones. You've got some Pokemon that we know are confirmed to get new forms or evolutions. We have Hisuian Voltorb, so one can assume that we're going to get a Hisuian Electrode as well. I've never been a big fan of Electrode and Voltorb as Pokemon. I thought about using it because there's the, the assumption that there's going to be a new form for it, but ultimately, I wanted to go with a classic fan favorite Pokemon from Generation 4, and one that I haven't used enough. When I was growing up, I loved using Magmortar. I thought it was a great looking Pokemon. I thought it was really cool that they were giving evolutions to older Pokemon. And I also thought it was really neat that in the game Pokemon Battle Revolution, you could get these Pokemon as gifts to then transfer to your copy of Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum for beating the game. For those purposes, I'm going to be using the awesome Electric-type Pokemon, Electivire. We know Electivire is in the game, we know it can try to kill you, and it is an awesome Pokemon. Electivire is such an incredible design, it gets a ton of really good physical Electric-type attacks. We have confirmed through some of the information that there will be new ways to evolve trade evolution Pokemon because there really don't seem to be trades in Legends Arceus. So there's going to be an in-game solo way to get these trade evolution item Pokemon. So Electivire is going to be on the squad. Electivire is a Pokemon, as I mentioned before, I haven't used enough. This is my big thing with Legends Arceus. I want to build a team of Pokemon that I can imagine myself using if I was actually in the world of Hisui. And Electivire is a bulky, big, ferocious force that you can have on a team to protect you and protect the rest of your team from the elements. We're gonna be dealing with Pokemon in the wild attacking you, the trainer. You're gonna want some muscle on your team and Electivire definitely provides that. For number five on my list, I'm gonna be using a Pokemon that has been heavily involved in the advertising for Pokemon Legends Arceus. It is a brand new Hisuian evolution, not even, no, it's not even a Hisuian evolution. It's a brand new evolution of an old Pokemon. For that, I'm gonna be picking Weirdeer. Weirdeer is a normal psychic type Pokemon that you can ride across the region of Hisui in your adventure in the Hisui region. It is a brand new evolution to Stantler that gets a psychic typing. It is a gorgeous looking Pokemon. It gives me Princess Mononoke vibes, the uh, Studio Ghibli film. It gives me the vibes of that deer uh, that was in that movie. Uh, and it's just, I love the meshing of the psychic and normal type. I love using that typing on teams. Weirdeer is a really cool Pokemon. It's a really cool design. It has really cool lore implications in the region. And I love the idea of using one of these mount Pokemon on my team. I understand, as I mentioned in my 10 things you need to know before playing Legends Arceus video earlier this week, that you're going to be able to use these mounts at will. You can summon them whenever you want to ride on them. You don't have to have them on your team, but I like the idea of having one on my team. So I can imagine as I'm playing that the weird deer that's helping me uh, travel across the Hisui region is my weird deer. So for that reason, and for its cool typing and its cool design, I'm going to be using weird deer on my team. The last Pokemon that I'm going to be using on my Legends Arceus team, I want to say right off the bat, if you have not seen any of the leaks for Pokemon Legends Arceus, if you've not watched anything to do with potential rumors even, the Pokemon that I'm going to say seemingly, and I'll use the word seemingly, not to spoil anything, is probably going to get some sort of new form or new evolution in Legends Arceus. So if you do not want to be spoiled for who that team member is, I would recommend clicking off the video now. Okay, for those of you who are still here and don't care about spoilers, I'm going to be using some form of Ursa Ring on my team. Ursa Ring fits in with Wall Rain. I've never used it. I love its design. I love its evolution line with Teddy Ursa. I love its the lore behind it. I love that it's more simple. I adore Ursa Ring. Every time that I play through Heart Gold or Soul Silver or a classic Gen 2 game, 
I feel like I want to use Ursa Ring on my squad. And in Legends Arceus, there's even more of a reason to use it. It's really exciting. I really like its typing. I like what typings it could potentially become. I love its design. I love nickname potential with it. There's a lot of really cool bear related names that you could use to make a really clever nickname. And I think Ursa Ring, just like Walrein and Electivire, really makes sense if you were to actually physically be in the Hisui region. You want a big Pokemon that can protect you, that can keep you safe. You want a Pokemon that can intimidate wild Pokemon. You want a Pokemon that can aid you in gathering resources and materials. Ursa Ring is a tall, powerful Pokemon. It can help you gather resources off trees in hard to reach areas, deal with uh, rough landscapes. I think it fits a team that you would want for yourself in Legends Arceus if you were actually there. So for that reason, the last member of my team is Ursa Ring. It appears based on a lot of the trailers that you're going to be able to use more than just six Pokemon. You're going to be, you're going to need and probably want to cycle through a bigger team, but you're always going to have six with you at most. So I wanted to present a more basic team in this video. This is going to be the main squad that I'm using in Legends Arceus. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section. What do you think of my team? And have you guys planned ahead? What's your team going to be in Legends Arceus? What team are you going to venture into Ancient Hisui with? I would love to know down below. Of course, as I mentioned before as well, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to subscribe so you never miss another upload and turn that notification bell on so you will be alerted immediately whenever I post. If you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed my list, please be sure to leave a like as well. It shows me that you're enjoying the videos and you want to see more. I've been Linky. I'll see you all in that next video. Peace out.